Welcome back. In this step, let's quickly revise what we have done with the callable tasks in the previous step and look at how to execute multiple callables and wait for multiple results with the executor service. What we have done is we created a callable task implementing the callable and we implemented a call method which just returns a hello plus whatever name we have present in here. We also made it sleep for a little while. We used executor service to submit it and the response from uh, executor service is something called a future. A future is something called a promise that we will have a result at a later point in time. And when you do get method on the future, then we are waiting for the result. So only when the callable task completes execution and when we get the result back, the rest of the code would be executed. So what you'd see in here is first line which would be printed is new callable executed so the task is submitted in here the first line which was printed is new callable task executed and after that let's use a printer then so that it's much more clearer so new callable task executed and after that is hello in 28 minutes that's the result and then main completed so the execution of this lane waits until the get is completed until the result is there now what we want to do now is we would want to be able to submit multiple tasks and wait for all of them to complete execution with a executor service how do we do that let's start with creating a list of multiple tasks so here we are submitting just one task what I'll do is I'll create a new class I'll call this multiple callable now and I'll say have a main method and say finish over here what I'll do is I'll copy the code from the callable runner so I'll use one fixed pull thread and here we are submitting one task so let's take that piece of code and let's also shut down the executor service don't forget to do that otherwise the program continues executing Shutting down the executor service will not make the program to stop right then and there. What it does is it would complete execution of all the threads and then the executor service would be shut down. So over here, we are calling using a submit method, right? So in addition to the submit method, there are a few other methods in the executor service. Let's create a list of tasks that we would want to execute. So what I'll do is I'll say list of Let's create a few callable tasks. Let's say the callable tasks are in 28 minutes. Ranga and let's just say Adam. Right. And I'll take this and let's import it in and let's assign it to a list. So list of callable task is equal to list of this, right? So we have a list of call callable tasks. Let's have a semicolon. Cool. Now let's format it a little bit so that we can see exactly what's happening in here. Oops, I need to give a variable name, right? So list of callable task. Tasks is equal to list of whatever, right? So that's cool. Now what I can do is to the executor service, there is a method called dot invoke all. And to this you can pass in a collection so what I'll do is I'll pass in tasks to it what it would do is it it would invoke all the tasks and what we would return is not just one future it would return a list of futures you can do a control one and say assign statement to the local variable and you'd see that there is a list of future of string so when we execute all these tasks what we will get is a list of results back so we'll get all the results back in here and I'll also need to do a control one and say add throws declaration so that we throw the interrupted exception in a call throws the interrupted exception so what we are doing is we are making the main also throw that as well now what we get back is the results I'll rename this to results what the invoke all does is it would wait for all the tasks to complete execution and then get the results and put them into this list now let's loop around the list for result 
result in results let's actually I should not say result it should have been future of string right so the type of this should be future of string and I can print this out result dot get result dot get also throws an exception so let's add a throws declaration for execution exception as well so that's cool now let's go ahead and execute this let's see what would be the output hello Ranga hello Adam and hello in 28 minutes that's the output let's run this again you can see that it takes a little while and then all the three complete execution because we have a pause of one second so it would wait for everything to complete so only after all the three tasks completes execution the results would be printed so you can see that this code is much much more easier to read and use if you want this to go further faster I can say new fixed thread pool of three what would happen it would actually use three threads so you would do, see that it would run even more faster so you can see that it, this run happened much more faster than earlier because now we have three threads where this code is running in try to play around with the number of tasks number of thread pools and see what kind of results you see it's a lot of fun to play around with the executor service because it allows us to call a lot of things at the same time and we can do things in combination with all of them in the next step we would look at another important thing related to the executor service until then bye bye this video is part of a java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on java you can find the complete course details in the description of the video along with it you can also find the details of a free pdf with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes creating great programmers